Street food, $1, maybe not more than five. But when you're traveling, you want a mix of cheap and fancy. Introducing Bougie Belly, the series on quality food at reachable prices in foreign places. Today's episode, we're trying high-end hot pot. Savory, spicy broth, buttery meat, an over-the-top presentation for the most luxurious dining experience. The first restaurant is Top One Pot in Taipei, Taiwan. This restaurant has consistently high reviews across all their branches and we're here at their oldest and original branch to eat like loyalty. And dress up like one too? <laughs> Emperor. <laughs> Emperor of hot pot. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Um, I think this is the most luxurious I've ever looked. Okay, so um, whatever you're wearing today, uh, I'm wearing it better. <laughs> First, let me just explain the soup base. This right here is a combo pot. And right here, we have the chicken pot. And in this, we have the royal spicy hot pot. And inside, you can see all of that aromatics just dancing with the water. I feel like everything I hold, I have to hold it luxuriously. This is minced scallop, so it's made into a paste form. Get this wooden stick and you form a little shape and then you pour it into the soup and it's gonna solidify into delicious scallop goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yes, this is what an emperor should eat. We have a platter, all right, of amazing boneless short ribs. And right in front of me are Matsuzaka pork roses. Look at the way it's layered. It is absolutely beautiful. Even an emperor shall not dirty his clothes. So just uh, usually you should take off the hat, but because I'm extra as, as fudge, I refuse. <laughs> Never mind. The correct way to eat this boneless short rib. So what you do is you grab it, and then you dip it into the soup. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Eat. And this is the correct way to cook it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Even though it was just like a dip and dip, you can see most of the parts of the meat is actually cooked already. There's just a little bit of pink in there. That means it's gonna be really nice and chewy. Here we go. Oh, mm, such a nice chew on this piece of meat. Three to four bites and it just dissolves in your mouth. Oh, that, that is some quality meat. Sometimes the spiciness can be too overwhelming. So if you just lightly cook it, lightly dance in the soup, then you're gonna get a nice spicy flavor. Just just a tad bit and then really enjoy the aroma and the taste of that beef. Now we are going to cook the pork roses. And I've been instructed you want to put this in there for about three minutes and let it cook. Oh yeah, just let it in there. Oh. The layer and layer of pork is just gonna slowly slide apart and just relax out that soup. Well, as we wait for that meat, uh, I'm gonna outfit change, because why not? Okay, my soup is boiling with a ton of goodies, so we're gonna start eating. Remember when we put in those pieces of scallop? Oh, look at it. Yup, bouncy piece of deliciousness. Oh, these are the exploding balls. There's like stuff inside. Surprise! <laughs> I know you're all used to something like that. Is that cheese or egg? Wow! Oh, mm, it's so good! It's almost like a mushy, eggy filling. Mm. As you bite inside this little exploding fish roll, it's fantastic. So good! Got to wear my bib again. Now I want to try the scallop, which I was so excited about because it looked amazing, even just in its raw form. Oh, 
it's just like soft chewy fish ball and it tastes so yummy it's just got a little bit of savory flavor more about the texture that pillowy chew to it we have an assortment of meatballs i mean we got some small balls we got some darker balls we got some white balls we got some balls with onions we just got a platter of balls this restaurant really knows what i like gosh look at these giant monstrous deliciousness it's got like a nice bounce to it when you pick it up look at that wow it's like fluffing a pillow gosh my pot is looking so festive oh hey now i'm the emperor's mistress Ooh. girl where'd you get your look a hot pot restaurant called top one pot these are luxurious fries so this is actually a scallion pancake inside they rolled it up and then they fried it so it's crispy it kind of reminds me of a really long mozzarella stick what you want to do is dip it into the soup just to get some of that flavor and oh are you ready oh oh yeah oh my god that's good nice crunch on the outside and you can taste that soft scallion dough on the inside love the bite in that that is good. This time when I put on the bib, it's gonna be flawless. <laughs> it is time to try my flower pork. I am excited, we're gonna see what this Matsu Osaka pork is all about. So as we're taking out the pork, you can see it's still kind of in the shape of that rose, but if you shake it, it's just gonna come apart, that layer and layer of thick pork. Oh. I'm gonna put those pieces, whoops, there it goes, into your bowl. We're gonna get a piece of this. And while I was changing, the amazing staff brought over some sauce, grab one of these, and just, just flow over, just float over. Yeah, cause you know, I'm a princess. Dip it in the sauce that they mixed for us. Oh my goodness. Wow, I was not expecting that. Wow, wow, wow. I thought looking at the meat that when you chew into it, it would be have a thick, quite a chew, a little bit tough. But when I bit into this, it was so easy to chew through the meat. It is absolutely tender. This is some quality pork. Wow, they were not kidding around. Mm. This is probably one of the most tender pork pieces that I've eaten. Mm. Incredible. I was an emperor, I was a queen. Now, I have a loyal baby, a royal food baby right here. The quality of this restaurant is incredible. I absolutely love the attentive service, I love the way the food was presented, and I love the overall feel of this restaurant. It's very high-end, it's very clean. You see why it is one of the best hot pot restaurants here in Taipei. Personally, I had an amazing time, especially since I got to dress up serving looks. But we're not done yet with today's episode because at the next restaurant, we're gonna kick up the spicy level. And I hope you guys are ready. doesn't define bougie dining, I don't know what does, okay? Right in front of me, there is, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's so much stuff. This item is their special beef. So this beef has actually been smoked before, and now it's covered in these peppercorn. It's layered on this giant pile of ice, and this dish, you gotta consume as soon as possible because it's fresh, 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 fresh taking a slice of this beef. Oh my goodness. It is layered in spices. So she informed me you just put this in for about 10 seconds and it's ready to consume. Oh yeah. 10, nine, eight, three, two, one. Just an extra second. All right, is it ready? Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That is beef butter, you guys. Oh, that literally just dissolved in my mouth. It was like a blanket of meat and it just disappeared. Holy smokes. On top of that, that spiciness, oh, it's kicking in. Oh, I feel it. It's, my mouth is in flames. I gotta have another piece, just one more time. Oh, we're gonna get. Oh, yes. I'm pulling it out. That is, that is one hot piece of meat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is so good. The spiciness of this soup immediately clings to the meat, so you taste so much flavor. It's a flavor blast. Amazing. the lift bro <laughs> right in front of me uh, is a whole paddle of meat now usually you have maybe a party of like five to six people try it uh, today is just a party of two me and you oh, look at that wow it's listening and we're gonna dip it in similar as the first type of beef we try we're just gonna put it in there for about 10 seconds lift it up from the soup oh my goodness look at that dripping soupy goodness this is like the best form of workout, you guys. Workout, eat, workout, eat. Here we go. This one has more of a chew. So if you're someone who likes a little bit of stiffness and sternness in your meat, this is it. And in it goes. Swirling, swirling. Look at all that pepper dancing in the soup. Dancing queen. Feel the heat, ooh, it's the meat. I don't know. <laughs> Try this amazing boat of different beef parts. Just gonna go in there and grab an intestine. So this is already all cooked already. So we're just gonna dip it in, get some of that flavor from the soup, and eat it. Oh yeah, just let it dance in that soup. Let it drip off. Oh, oh, it's crazy because that soup, the more it's boiling, the spicier it gets. And that bite was so spicy. It's like a good spicy. It's got a kick. <laughs> it got spicy. Intestine, if you've never had it before, it's got a nice chew, it's got a nice bounce in your mouth. We eat it for texture. Pair it with this spicy flavor. Beautiful. We're gonna go try some of this. Oh, the tendon is just slipping off of my chopstick. Drench it in. Yeah. Not too much, because the spiciness is getting to me. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, this tendon's got a beautiful thickness to it. Sometimes a lot of tendons are a lot softer. This got a nice bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at this huge piece of tripe. Gigantic. Same thing, dip it in the soup. Hey! Take a bite. Oh! Mm. Um, never mind, just put the whole thing in your mouth. Tripe compared to intestine, I think the intestine's a lot softer. Tripe-wise, it's straight up just chewy goodness. We are trying their signature dish right here. Look at this, this is crispy pork. Let's take a bite into this. I wanna hear that crunch. Mm. There's a juicy pork slice in there. It's already cooked. And paired with this salty, outer crispy layer, you're like, it's like popcorn pork and it's seasoned so beautifully. Mm. That is darn good. I got you another one. Oh yes. So those were two restaurants here in Taipei, Taiwan that considerably one of the, probably the best, some of the best hot 
pots you can have here in the city. I mean, the soup flavor is fantastic. It's aromatic. The quality of the meat is incredible. And for what you get with that price, worth it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's Bougie at Belly. Now, I usually ask you guys, you know, which do you think was better, but both restaurant is fantastic. I think it's just so good. So what I want to ask you is actually which dishes from today's episode stood out to you and would you want to order? Thanks so much for watching this episode. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe and turn on your notifications, okay? Because the next episode of Bougie Belly, you do not want to miss out. Bye! I wonder what emperors say. Put the meatball in my mouth. Meat. Now! <laughs> Lift the meat for me! <laughs> Am I sounding like an emperor yet? <laughs> you pour that juice in my mouth, peasant. How's that, you guys? Pretty, uh. Are you sold yet? <laughs> sold yet? <laughs>so much for watching this video. Do you want to create your own travel video or you've been thinking about starting your own YouTube channel? Don't worry, your girl's got your back. Sign up for my free three-part training series on becoming a travel vlogger. But if you're ready to take it to the next level, enroll in Viewing to Blogging, the Travel Vlogger course. 65 plus video lessons packed with expertise, valuable worksheets, and a community of aspiring creators to connect with. Learn how to optimize your videos, grow your subscribers, and snag them sponsors. Head to viewingtoblogging.com. I'll see you there. Bye.